this is an interesting part that you should look at okay so this is volume 4 issue number 1 2024 hello Christian channel members viewers and subscribers very good day to you all so once again i am really happy to meet you all this time with a very genuine review about a scopus index journal it is called as journal of lifestyle and sdgs review so we'll try to find out in this video whether this journal will be removed from the scopus database also we'll try to find out whether this journal is right now indexed in the scopus web of science abdc as well as UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journalists. We will try to find out its article processing charges. We will also try to find out if there are any clone websites available and the time they take from submission till the publication of the article and whether all the articles of this journal are really indexed in the popular indexing databases. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of journal of lifestyle and sdgs review so this journal review actually starts with this particular email so we received an email from editor one at the rate of sdgsreview.org okay so they have mentioned scopus journal invitation for submission okay so they have given the journal name journal of lifestyle and sdgs review the issn number has been mentioned here okay they are looking for some good articles okay so they were trying to review the proceedings of the fourth international conference on engineering and advancements in technology and uh, there was some article actually i published this one in the research gate just to uh, gather uh, some good quality papers for this uh, particular issue okay but uh, seeing this they have uh, come out with a particular email actually it doesn't really make any sense at all okay so this normally like a uh, international journal will be doing the propaganda but we really don't know why they are making propaganda like this because it is a Scopus index journal. Okay, so they have mentioned that it is indexed among the Scopus database with a site factor uh, 2023 of 0.6. It is just 0.6 and they have given the website even. So what I did, I did a, a search, a Google search. Uh, we searched for Journal of Lifestyle and SDGs review. Okay, we are getting the search result. So the first search result comes from sdgsreview.org. Uh, we cannot find uh, any cloned or maybe fake website with this particular journal. Okay, we have ResearchGate, we have other uh, platforms like uh, Silit discussing about this journal. So straight away we will go with this particular website. So this is sdgsreview.org. Okay, so within that they will be having this uh, lifestyle journal. Okay, already in our channel we have uh, reviewed about journal of law and sustainable development so this journal uh, even the logo everything uh, looks uh, similar enough and down you can see they have discussed uh, some suggested themes uh, for example energy infrastructure like uh, related to zero hunger sustainability uh, sustainable practices for business okay environmental uh, sustainable development goals they have given some uh, themes over here and we can see that uh, they have been publishing articles with regards to english uh, espanol like uh, spain and portuguese language so throughout uh, they have mentioned that uh, in this journal you will find articles related to sdg actually uh, sdg as far as present scenario is concerned it is uh, really good so maybe if you are going to uh, write a paper and you are going to focus on SDG, then definitely it will be useful for the NIRF ranking or maybe QS rankings as well. About the publication frequency, they have mentioned that uh, it is a continuous publication model. But when we uh, browse through each of the years, we can find only one issue. Uh, but they have mentioned that uh, the articles are fully citable and they have a DOI. We have cross check this DOI okay and it is working really well about the editorial team section they have a scientific editor we have a proper photograph with the biography with the orchid id event so this is uh, looking uh, pretty much clean enough okay but uh, when we browse through the scientific committee members we can find uh, people from different countries they have proper affiliation details have been mentioned but only thing is that they do not have a email id an institutional email id associated with them when you browse through the contact section here the principal contact number uh, as well as support contact number is the same okay but we have a different email id over here editor email id 
then here we have a gmail id only the gmail id doesn't look good about the continuous publication like a volume 4 issue number 2 2024 okay so here we have some articles over here okay so for example when we try to count out here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so there are nine articles in volume 4 issue number 2 of uh, 2024 and this has been published by 13 august 2024 but when you browse through the archives we can observe that we also have volume 4 issue number 1 okay only in this year they have displayed like two particular issues but each of the other previous years we can find only one particular issue this is an interesting part that you should look at okay so this is volume 4 issue number 1 2024 and when we browse uh, through the articles we find approximately like 40 odd documents being published here okay i'm not concerned about the quality quality is good of course it has come from uh, maybe different countries that's totally fine but why publish 40 odd articles in this particular issue i really have a reason to point at this fact because other issues you find only like uh, seven articles or maybe eight articles not more than that so here about the article processing charges they have mentioned 950 dollars forget about 950 so it is approximately thousand dollars okay so roughly they are collecting like eighty thousand in indian rupees for every accepted paper but through the back door through the associations they are collecting an amount of 35000 in indian rupees or approximately between like 400 till 450 dollar and normally the time they take uh, from submission till the publication of the article is a maximum of 3 till 4 months so after publication of the article the indexing will really happen within 3 weeks of time about the indexing information we can see that this journal is indexed in the scopus database also we find other platforms like lat index root open alex cross ref is really really good okay mir is very very common okay then we have ezb again it is common to our surprise when we try to search for journal of lifestyle and sdgs review in the sci imago journal rank website we are not getting the relevant search results. we do not have information in the sci imago journal rank so that is the reason we decided to go for scopus so in the scopus in the sources being selected in the title you search for journal of lifestyle and sdgs review we will be getting the exact search results so the publisher exact publisher name online isn number has been mentioned correctly okay we do not have a view home page section i think uh, scopus has removed uh, this particular feature okay so here we have scopus content coverage 2024 we have eight documents as we saw uh, like uh, issue number two we have around like nine articles being published and out of that eight documents got indexed also we can see issue number one we had 40 odd documents and none of these 40 odd documents got indexed in the scopus database while we try to check the information with 2023 2022 2021 we can see that the information exactly matches maybe like uh, eight documents being published seven documents got indexed so in this way uh, like uh, closely like uh, all the articles are being indexed there is no problem but the only problem is issue number one of 2024 40 odd documents were not indexed in the scopus database now coming into the site score rank and trend okay we have this journal under law field it comes under the 38th percentage so 0 to 25 26 till 50 so it comes under the q3 quartile about how long will this journal remain in the scopus database we really don't know because we have never uh, got an email from a scopus index journal uh, trying to publicize information incorrectly okay and we have too many articles in one particular issue that is issue number one of 2024 and the articles are not indexed in the scopus database so we have a feeling that this journal might be removed from the scopus database in the coming months and as far as the master journalist mjl.clarivate.com we decided to check for the journal name in the web of science database okay so we search for journal of lifestyle and sdgs review okay we are unable to get the relevant search result now coming to abdc australian business teams council journal quality list okay so we decided to search for this journal name we press enter we are not getting the relevant search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the 
Australian Business Teams Council quality list. We have UGC Care website as well. We have group one as well as group two. Okay. So since this journal comes under the scope of source list, okay. So this journal is automatically indexed in the UGC Care group two. Okay. However, we have list of clone journals UGC Care group two. We search for this particular journal. We are not getting the search result, which means that there is no cloned or maybe fake website with this particular journal. So as far as this journal is concerned, it is not indexed in the web of science database, not indexed in the AVDC quality list. But since this journal is indexed in the Scopus database Q3 quartile, it automatically comes under UGC care group 2. About how long will this journal remain in the Scopus database? We really don't know because we have too many articles in one particular issue and those articles are not indexed in the Scopus database. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, positive or maybe negative experience with this particular journal, please share them in the comment section. So I'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful awareness video. So see you then in another interesting genuine review of a Scopus Web of Science SCI. ISI, ABDC, or maybe UGC care group 1, or maybe group 2 journalists as well. Till then, collaboration is good.